What is going on, Hot Take Nation? It is DRW here for another episode of the Hot Take of the Day podcast. I got to tell you, I have taken no pleasure in doing this the last two months. You know, we had the OPEC crisis in March. We had oil hit negative 37 a barrel in April. Unemployment, coronavirus, two weeks to flatten the curve. Bankruptcies, S&P getting crushed, NASDAQ getting crushed. Small businesses, big businesses. What are we doing to ourselves? I don't even know where to begin. Whoa. Yeah, uh, hi. Uh, David? What are you doing here and why don't we have a beard? It is, it is in fact, uh, me. Uh, you're looking, I mean, I'd say good, but I'm, I'm gonna have to go with angry if we're being pretty honest. You're me from the future? Like, how far in the future? Like, the, I mean, clearly it's still okay. Every, like, you're alive, you made it, congratulations. Huge shocker. Look, look a little thicker though. Um, you doing all right there? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Um, little thicker, agree. Uh, this isn't going to come as a surprise, but we, like the average American, have put on, you know, kind of 30 pounds, a lot of Netflix, a lot of bonbons, a uh, lot of drinking. Did I mention the Netflix? It's been, it's been weird. Um, but anyway, I am here from July, 2021 in some crazy time vortex. I have been able to come back and really more for your mental health than anything. Just kind of let you know that obviously things are okay. We're okay. We didn't die. Um, but things are a little bit different than you might have expected them to be. And so um, I just, I want to sort of like rip the bandaid off a little bit. But you drive for Uber, man. I drive for Uber? What happened to our own money? Did, did, like, did the market, did the market, did, is it worse than I thought? What, well, where's the S&P? Is it like a thousand? 500? Who can even afford to be in an Uber? Yeah, I mean, you, you would think that, and um, there was a lot of reasons to think that. Um, but what you're missing is the parachuting in of the money from the Federal Reserve. We kind of don't care how much we print anymore. We just kind of just, we just add stimulus to the economy. We say it's good, but then we add more stimulus and we buy back bonds. It's all very complicated. Um, you'll get to it, but I just, just for what you need to know, um, the S&P is up. The S&P is up? What? 4,300? Yeah, yeah. Um, NASDAQ is also up uh, a lot, like north of 15,000. Uh, Russell, up. Uh, copper, up. Lumber, up. Uh, lead, up. House prices, up. You got a Zillow report. Your house is up 16% in the last year. I guess it's our house. So, I mean, yeah, things things are, uh, they're going, they're going good, actually, if we're being totally honest. So, but, 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 like, oil's still full 40, right? Like, we're still at 40? Now, I, I hope you're sensing a pattern here. Um, everything that should be down is not. It is up. And everything that should be up is down. So, uh, oil is actually, if we're honest, um, stay calm. Stay calm. It's 73. We're at 73? How, what is happening? How is it, was there, is there a war? I, I, there's so much oil everywhere. Like, did everyone go bankrupt and just shut in their wells? What, what is going on? Uh, no, actually, uh, very few companies actually declared bankruptcy, at least not meaningful ones. Um, to the one you mentioned that would have, of course did and they've come through bankruptcy and now they're an acquirer But uh, I mean that I mean this isn't a surprise. We knew this would happen not quite as many Yeah, as you thought um, But I guess I guess the other piece is surprising news and, and I'm, I'm glad you're seated for this um, natural gas is actually um, North of 375 and MCF. Yeah, yeah Natural gas is not 375 there's no way. It's been like a buck fifty. 
That is not a thing. I mean, at least Waha is still net. Waha doesn't have a negative. Oh my god. Okay, and this one, the, of all the things I was going to tell you, this is the second one I was the most scared about. We'll, we'll save the last one for the end. Um, so CDEV, and, and you are going to end up selling your shares. You'll get back in and you'll trade. But but broadly speaking, um, things have gone really well for CDEV. And all of the Twitter trolls that were telling you what an idiot you were for having a thesis that if oil was 60, gas was 3, and inventories were declining, like CDEV should generally outperform. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's true, and it hit um, it hit seven dollars last week actually. C Dev is over seven dollars. What is going on? And so yeah, I mean uh, everything is doing better. Zoom is up, oil is up, Tesla's up, Apple's up, Amazon's up, small cap, big cap, everything is up. And, and I sort of alluded to this, but um, also unemployment is, is down. In fact, it's, it's sub 6%. And what's a little bit strange is it's almost impossible to hire people because no one actually wants to go back to work. And companies are having to sort of encourage their workers that like they're allowed to work from home almost forever because there isn't enough labor in the market. Why did you come back and tell me this? You know you're just making me crazy. I mean, if we're, if we're honest, uh, everyone already thinks we're crazy. And to be honest, between now and um, July 2021, not a lot changes. But I mean, the real reason I, I kind of wanted to come back and talk to you, and, and you're really happy, like it's great. It's surprisingly great. Uh, but I just, I just need you to start getting mentally prepared for this. But you know, retirement, COVID, not working, it kind of gets boring. And um, you're going to get an opportunity to go work for a very large Japanese company. In fact, Hitachi, uh, we now work for Hitachi. Uh, we've been doing it for 60 days and, and it's, it's pretty great. So um, I just, yeah, I, I wanted to let you know that you are, in fact, back working full time. Um, you're you're doing it man somebody hired me david Dave. you know what he'll be fine we're gonna be fine hey Thanks for everyone for tuning into the hot take of the day over the last year, year and a half. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, there's been some rants. There's been some anger. Uh, hopefully, it's made you think. It's made you laugh. It's made you pause. And even if it's been frustrating with you sometimes, I always believe that dialogue and discourse is better than sitting in our own camps and not having conversations about the real issues that impact our country. I am so proud to be an American. I am so proud to be part of our energy industry and oil and gas in particular. I thank you for everything that you do. I hope you had a little fun with this as I did. It took me a while to commit to grow that beard back, um, but I'm gonna get started right away. So thank you very much. Until next time, be safe, be good. Have a great day. Bye.